All right, folks, in the beginning of this uh, episode about how to convert your truck to a gasifier, I showed you those three long rods of one inch black iron pipe we had. That's going to be our third and final radiator, as you can see right there. I'm almost done with it. I just wanted to put it up into place, dry set like that. I got some cuts to make on the upper bar up there. Really quickly, though, I'm going to show you what I have got left to finalize it in the direction and the path that the smoke is going to take. Let me carefully walk up here because it's just kind of resting there. All right, as you can tell here, what I've done is hold sawed a, a two inch hole in the bottom of that, right where our gas is gonna come out the bottom of our uh, radiator on the side there. Gas is gonna come in the top, work its way down out the bottom. It's gonna come out into this piece of square stock. I'm gonna pull that up and weld it into place. Uh, right here in the square stock is a baffle. Inside of there like we did in those, but this one's just straight up and down. Uh, that does have a slight little gap at the bottom, just so anything that condensates in here can get all the way through the system. Very little gap. You don't want your smoke going through. All right, folks, I've got the third and final radiator now completed. And before I put it into place, I wanted to just go through with you exactly how it works uh, and where the baffles go and the direction the smoke flows. So real quickly here, let me take you down into this. We're going to have some shadows in the way because the the time of day it is. Uh, first of all, if I set you down inside of there, You'll see the iron baffle welded into place inside of there. Uh, that's just beyond the two inch pipe here. Smoke's gonna enter in from our bed rail radiator here, travel up that pipe and over and across here. It'll actually be forced now down through all those one inch pipes. There's nine of those cut inside of there. And if I come over here, you'll notice what I've done here is basically cap that end off right there. So this upper pipe stops right here. All the gas has to come through that upper pipe and go down to the bottom square pipe now, back over to this two inch piece, back up that two inch and over into our other bed rail. So we're basically forcing the smoke to come uphill, across, and then forcing it downhill across all these radiator bars uh, into our square stock below, up the final two inch out into the other side of our bed rail radiator system. So I'm going to go ahead and make some of my cuts there and get my angles right and weld that into place. Uh, I just wanted to show you this before I finalize it and set it up into place. Let me go ahead and get the rest of it done and I'll show you it once it's set. Alright, we finalized that third and final radiator now and put it into place. wanted to show you just what it looks like with the, all the bed rail radiators now mounted. Uh, everything's up and ready to go. We have nothing left to do now but to put our finalized uh, reactor and our double cyclone water cooling system that I've already showed you. Now back in here, put it uh, right into the top of this one. From there, the smoke path is already ready to go to go all the way through that first radiator into the bottom there, up that first pipe and across and then back down all those one inch pipes into the square stock up the last two inch piece of pipe there, comes out of the bottom of the square stock, up that pipe over and into the top of our other radiator. Now it's going all the way down, and that's where we're gonna go now. We're gonna go ahead and start working on what comes off the side of the truck into a double canister uh, drying filter that'll hold uh, some kind of drying medium, possibly rocks to grass to hay to uh, other pieces of wood. Uh, we'll probably have two different kinds of mediums in there, and I'll show you that as I get it done. Just really quickly here, wanted to show you what it looks like with everything in place. Uh, now that we've got the reactor and the double cyclone water cooling system completely finished, we can put that back up in there now, hook that up to that upper corner up there on the bed rail, and it's ready to go. The entire system's hooked up and plumbed together. It's nicely sealed. Uh, now all we have to do is run the smoke into, like I said, those two canisters uh, of a drying filter medium and into our engine. Not too much longer here and we'll be done. So give me a little bit of time and I'll finish that up and show you where we're going from here.